Hey guys, James here. This is how to withdraw crypto from your Trust Wallet app. If you want to get cryptos out of your wallet, sell crypto from Trust Wallet, or just sell crypto to a fiat currency like US dollars or pound sterling to get that into your bank, I'm going to show you the best ways right now to do that. If you need any more help with Trust Wallet, do see the videos linked in the description and also the Trust Wallet playlist on the channel. Let's go and withdraw some cryptocurrencies to another wallet or to another exchange. It's actually exactly the same process, no matter where you want to withdraw to. Firstly, you have to find the cryptocurrency that you want to withdraw. Any cryptocurrencies that you have traded recently will be here. But if you can't find the cryptocurrency, simply come up to this option in the top right hand corner and then go and search. So let's search for some cake tokens and you can see a few different ones here, either BEP20 or BEP2 cake tokens, whatever it is, just make sure that you have the right one. You can click on it and then it's just simply going to send. When you click on send, essentially you have two options, either pasting in the address of the recipient or actually scanning their address through a QR code. If you have a friend or another person that has their application open and you want to send that to them, whether it's another Trust Wallet app or another exchange like Coinbase or Binance, all they have to do is go to receive and they will have a QR code that you can press this option and then scan and it will populate all of the information that you need to send over those coins. If you're sending it to another application on your own phone, then you can't use this one. So I'm gonna quickly switch through to Binance. This is my exchange account with Binance. Binance and Trust Wallet are the same company now. So you don't have to use them together, but a lot of people will. We're gonna come down to my wallet right here, and then we're gonna to come to deposit. So obviously we're depositing some funds into our Binance from our Trust Wallet. So we'll click on deposit and then just come and search the crypto. So I was depositing some cake or taking cake out of my Trust Wallet. So I can click on cake right here. And there we go, this is the address that you need to send it to. Now, it's really important that you get the blockchain correct when you're sending this. This is just for Binance, but Binance actually has two different blockchains. They have Binance Chain, which is BEP2, and they also have Binance Smart Chain, which is BEP20. There is a difference between these, although we don't have to go into that for this video. Just make sure that you have the exact same blockchain when you're sending and receiving. You can actually go back to your Trust Wallet and go back and make sure that you have the correct tokens. You can see BEP20 right here. You can double check this before, so we can go to send once more and then go back into our Binance account. This is BEP20. We can go and copy this address right here, so we can click on copy. You can also slide to the left and right to actually change from BEP2 to BEP20. So I've got BEP20, just double confirm, so I've copied that to my clipboard. Then we just enter that in here so we can paste. We now have that recipient addressed in there. You can then go through and click how much of the cryptocurrency that you want to send. I don't have any cake in my account, but I do have some other cryptos like BNB. It's gonna be exactly the same. Make sure the blockchain is correct, put the address in, click on how many you want to send, press done, and then go through to next. You can either click that up here or down at the bottom. It will go through to a page and now you have to confirm the transaction on the blockchain. And remember, because Trust Wallet is a decentralized application and you are sending the crypto on a blockchain, you're going to have to pay the blockchain fee. This is going to be different depending on what blockchain you're using. If you're using Binance, it's usually quite cheap. If you're using Ethereum, for the time being anyway, it's usually very expensive, like 20, even $50. If you're using other blockchains, they will have different amounts. So be sure to know that you will be charged a blockchain fee for sending anything from your Trust Wallet because it is decentralized. Next up though, I wanna move on selling cryptocurrencies from your Trust Wallet and actually getting them out of your Trust Wallet into your bank account. How do you actually sell your crypto into a fiat currency and then withdraw that to your bank? Well, in Trust Wallet, there are a couple of different ways you can sell cryptocurrencies. You can actually come down to the decentralized exchange on Trust Wallet itself. You can either use the swap or exchange features. If we go to exchange, you can essentially put in orders here. I go through this in much more detail in my Trust Wallet tutorial. I'll link that in the description, but we're just gonna very simply click on swap. This is an easy way to swap one cryptocurrency into another. I do have some BNB coin. We can choose the currency that we're swapping into. Now, because Trust Wallet is owned by Binance, it's obviously very heavily skewed towards Binance smart chain cryptocurrencies. If you want to take a cryptocurrency that you have in Trust Wallet, and actually turn it into a fiat currency, a lot of people will actually first swap into a stable coin. You can use Binance US dollar. Trust Wallet supports both BEP2 and BEP20 Binance US dollar. It doesn't actually matter if you're going to cash out your position. So we'll just choose this one. Then you can see if you do swap, you will have to pay fees. 
It lets me pay the fees in BNB coin, known as Smart Chain in Trust Wallet. This is simply a BEP20 version of BNB coin, which is Binance's coin. So let's just pay the fees with that. And we can see that one BNB equates to about 603 Binance US dollar. You can just enter the amount right here. So let's say I want to sell 50% and it will do that transaction for you and you can go ahead and swap. Now this is just one way to do things. So for example, if you had a very, very small altcoin that didn't really have any large trading pairs, then you might want to put it right into a stable coin so that it's easier to transfer out. But this is going to depend on you, the type of crypto that you have. So this is not a one size fits all solution. You could go ahead and swap that. If the exchange that we're going to send it to doesn't support a very small altcoin, you will have to swap it into a larger coin that is supported on an exchange. If you do want to swap, just go ahead and swap and then that swap will take place and you should see that the balance has now gone into Binance US dollar or the other larger coin that you have swapped into. The reason why I'm talking about exchanges is because once more, Trust Wallet is a decentralized protocol. It is not a centralized company that has links with banks and so you aren't going to be able to send any currencies out from your Trust Wallet straight to a bank. It just cannot happen. This is a decentralized protocol that we're using to trade cryptocurrencies and it does that on blockchains. You're going to have to transfer your funds into a centralized exchange that has links with banks or with PayPal to actually transfer your money out into fiat currency. So you did see me swap a token into a stable coin or a larger token that is supported on an exchange. That could be Binance US dollar or BNB. These are big cryptocurrencies that are supported. So let's say for example, you have a larger cryptocurrency that we can now send out to an exchange. We can do the exact same thing that we did at the start of the video. Press send right here. Then you have to make sure that you are receiving that coin in your exchange account. I'll just use Binance as an example, but you can use Coinbase, you can use Kraken as long as it supports the crypto that you're sending. We'll come to deposit right here and then choose BNB coin or BUSD, whichever coin that you transferred into, and then make sure that you're sending the correct type of token, either BEP2, BEP20 or ERC20. We have to make sure that it's the correct one. I'm gonna choose BEP20 here, copy the address. Like I said, you can use Coinbase or Kraken. Now Coinbase and Kraken do not support BNB coin, but they will support a range of other stable coins. So be sure that you're sending it across on the right blockchain. Press paste right here. Then you can choose how many that you want to send. Type a memo if you wish, go to next and then send that over to your exchange account. You will have to pay a blockchain fee. Once you have those in your account, that transaction should take a few minutes. So what we can do now is actually go and trade one of those cryptocurrencies for a fiat currency. I'm using BNB coin, you can use BUSD or another stable coin, or one that has a trading pair against a fiat currency. So I'm going to go and search for BNB against GBP. And you can see that there's a trading pair right here. So what this means is now that I can actually sell that BNB coin and put it into pound sterling, which is a fiat currency. Again, you have to choose a cryptocurrency that has a trading pair against a fiat currency so you can get that fiat currency on account. Once you have a fiat currency on your account, it's very simple to go through and just find that amount of the currency. So I'm gonna go through and withdraw right here. Then I'm gonna go over to cash and I have some cash on my account in pound sterling. I can click on that and actually go and withdraw it to my bank account using faster payments or any other service that's supported. I know that I didn't show you selling right here, but it is fairly straightforward. If you want to know step-by-step step how to convert and sell, I do have other videos that go through that. So I'll link them in the description for you if you need more help. So if you do have a small altcoin and you're wondering how to get that out from your trust wallet and actually withdraw, then that is really one of the main methods that you can use. And it can work in a lot of different ways, depending on the coins that you have and also the exchange that you're using. Do subscribe for daily helpful crypto content and I'll see you in the next one.